Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Samara from CoachingConsciousCreators.com and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to stop unwanted things from coming into your reality or affecting your vibration rather. So there's this big thing right now about getting rid of toxic people and toxic situations and just removing yourself from anything that doesn't line up with what you want so that you can keep this high vibration, right? So that's the thing going around. Well, what I've discovered through experience is that phase of awakening and discovering that you create your own reality is necessary. That phase where you feel like you have to separate yourself because separation is required when you're first learning how to control your thoughts, control your emotions, and in turn control your vibration. Sometimes you do need to get by yourself just to stabilize so that you can even receive the information that you need in order to manifest what it is that you want. So that stage is very necessary. But eventually, we all come to a point where we realize that no one, nothing outside of us can affect our vibration. So if nothing outside of us can affect our vibration, what's happening when we're around someone who's negative or when we're in a situation that's tough and our vibration does get lower? What's happening is we're directing our attention to things that we don't want therefore bringing down our vibration. So it's all about attention. Just like manifesting is all about what you pay attention to. Sometimes we want something different, but we're paying so much attention to what it is that we don't want that we can't allow it in. We want that new job, but we're paying so much attention to the drama at work. We're paying so much attention to, you know, the aspects of our job that we hate and we're talking about it all the time. We're thinking about it all the time that we, we don't allow our vibration to rise high enough to bring in something new. It's the same when you're around so um, quote unquote toxic people. My view is that everyone is on their own journey and I believe in a, not universe maybe, but at least this creation that we exist inside of is a creation of duality. And so you need the negative to have the positive. And sometimes people are toxic so that they can wake you up, so that they can wake up to the positive that is possible. So they're so far on the negative end of the spectrum that you can't help but realize how good things could be <laughs> if that makes any sense to anyone and so what's really happening is when someone's around you and you don't agree with their beliefs you think that they you know you just think that they're toxic or you think that they're lowering your vibration what's really happening is you're looking at them and you're saying to yourself this person should be different and you're allowing that to upset you and bring down your vibration what happens when you understand that they have no control over how you feel is that you can maintain your vibration no matter what they're doing. And there's nothing more freeing than being able to be around anybody and in any situation and understand that it's what you give attention to that grows. So does this mean that you just ignore situations and people that are quote unquote toxic? No. What it means is instead of directing your attention at, at what is missing, with that person or in that relationship or in that situation you look at what's happening you acknowledge what you think and feel about it and then you make the deliberate choice to redirect your attention to what you would rather have so let's say you're around family members that gossip right and you know they've gossiped about you and you know they think things about you that that you don't believe are true or you're around people you know aren't reaching their full potential Instead of looking at them and saying, oh my God, I just wish that they were different. Why are they doing X, Y, and Z and focusing on X, Y, and Z? You say to yourself, man, I really wish that they would reach their full potential or stop gossiping. And then you direct your attention to imagining what it would be like if things were the way that you wanted. And what that would do, will do is make you feel good and raise your vibration. So you can actually use negative situations and deliberately refocus your attention on the exact opposite and raise your vibration even higher than it was before. And that means that while you're sitting across from someone who is not the way that you want them to be. Now, note that I'm saying the way you want them to be because just because you want a situation or a person to be different doesn't mean that it actually should be. I don't believe that there's anything in the world that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Everything is necessary for us to have a certain experience in this 3D, 4D, 5D, plane that we're in so what you can do is 
focus on the opposite or focus on what makes you feel good because your vibration depends on how you feel and what you are thinking so um at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what anyone else is doing or it doesn't matter what situation you're in your attention and your thoughts and your beliefs will guide you in the direction of what you're focused on no matter what it is whether it's wanted or unwanted not necessarily good or bad so use those situations instead of allowing yourself to focus on what it is that you don't like about a circumstance use it to focus on the opposite use it to develop that muscle that allows you to focus on things that you do want instead i hope this was helpful guys if you want to know more about what i do um, check me out at coachingconsciouscreators.com don't forget to like and subscribe if this is helpful to you and share with anybody you think needs to hear this message. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.